I think the most difficult thing for me to learn about is our spiritual connection to this uh, world and uh, to our ancestral places. You know, I've traveled a lot, so I've been to the center of the universe many times. Lakota country, Hopi country, Haida country, Haudenosaunee country. Everybody says everything began right here. And so we know that's not all possible, or maybe it is all possible, that people develop these uh, concepts of origin. And not too many people want to believe, you know, we were created f with no intent. We're, we're useless. We just stumble around life and get a job at McMaster. <laughs> But I think uh, the idea here is that uh, for uh, many years, or for many centuries, our people have uh, attached that ancestral spirit to land, where you plant the bones of your relatives becomes infused then with this human spirit, and it gets transformed into earth spirit. So really, when we say the earth is our mother, we really mean that. It's the direct tie to all of the humans that walked on the earth and have been buried into the ground and returned back to that as well as all of the animals, and then all of the plants, and all of the fish. So when you think about this earth as a percolator of, of uh, uh, physical being, and transforms into the spiritual being. So spirit really means just is like energy and power. It's, it's really helps you figure out the things that are uh, troubling your mind. You can call upon this, this spiritual energy, this force, and we can impact on it. And I think that's um, a very important part of indigenous philosophy is that we have this reciprocal relationship then even with spirit forces so that they conduct themselves according to and sometimes uh, counteracting what the humans do. So this very direct impact on <clears throat> how well we can uh, be at peace and, and uh, thrive in this uh, place is this spiritual tie.